Gunnar Nixon isn't your typical 18-year-old track student. He's the best this state's produced and quite possibly the best the nation's ever seen. I did track in eighth grade and I was, uh, I was good at you know, the jumping events and the running events, so I just had to get stronger and learn like the throws and then I, I thought I'd be great at it. Great doesn't even begin to describe Gunner's ability. He won four individual state titles at this year's state meet, earned the long jump title with a 24-foot, 4.5-inch jump, cleared 6 feet 10 inches to capture the high jump title, and won the 110-meter hurdles with a time of 14.01 seconds. He has a 3.27 GPA, but even those accomplishments are overshadowed by Gunner's decathlon record, which no other high school athlete has ever accomplished. I won 8,035 points, and no other high school athlete has ever gone over 8,000 points in the decathlon, so that was probably the most the most exciting, most memorable. He's the first one here, he's the last one to leave. I'm getting chill bones right now. I mean, he, his work ethic is already at the college level. Uh, it says, you know, like how bad I want to win and how bad I want to succeed at what I do. Because I don't, I, don't, I don't do anything less than 100%, you know, because I want to, you know, get to the top level. It was this work ethic that carried him all the way to the USA Outdoor Track and Field Championships where he was presented with a surprise of a lifetime. I was crazy. I was up there. I just finished the first day of the decathlon and they set me up in a fake interview. Well, excuse me one second. Excuse me. My name is Nancy LaRoche. And then they came up behind me with the trophy and surprised me. We're here to let you know that you've been selected as our Gatorade National Boys uh, Athlete of the Year in track and field. Congratulations. Thanks. <laughs> I was in total shock. I couldn't say anything. I was just I was like, wow, I can't believe I won it. It means a lot because, you know, it doesn't just look at your, you know, your athletic performance. It looks at what you, what you do in the classroom and your character and all kinds of stuff. Because Gunner won the Gatorade National Athlete of the Year Award for track and field, he will be one of 12 athletes who gets to attend the ESPYs on July 12th in hopes of becoming ESPN's Athlete of the Year. If I get to go to the ESPYs, because I'm in the top 12 in the nation for athletes and they're going to select the Athlete of the Year overall. So that's going to be a great experience. I get to bring my parents and uh, yeah, I'll be there for like a week in Hollywood. He's looking forward to Hollywood now, but next on the agenda will be heading to Arkansas in the fall and then to the Junior Worlds in Italy with the ultimate goal being the 2016 Olympics in Rio. Tori Nichols reporting for News Channel 4 Sports HD. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's, hey, guys.